hello guys welcome to fish academy yeah today you can see this is my baby fish this is my fingerlings and they are doing very very wonderful this fish that you are seeing here are very very agile the fish you are seeing here are very very healthy the fish you are seeing here in fact they, uh, they, are, they, are, they are so wonderful and I, I love feeding them because they give me great hopes more than any of any other fish that I've been having in this farm. Uh, as you can see, um, I'm in my farm at the moment and uh, actually this is not what I want to talk about. But this is my fish. They are growing. I have some new stock here in my farm. And uh, for those of you that, have, uh, that are aware of this, my farm, this is my pond. As you can see, it's empty very soon i'm going to transfer my fish down into this pond but this is not what i want to show you guys today what i want to show you guys is how to treat your pond okay right there i have some fish inside uh, the water and they're very very few but uh, this is not what i want to discuss with you today i want to discuss with you how to treat your pond after con construction how to treat your concrete pond or how to neutralize the cement after constructing your concrete pond so let's move over straight to where the pond is and uh, yeah where the pond is yeah this this is a pond and uh, for those of you that have been following me on this channel this is my pond number six my pond number six though the job i did previously on this pond was not perfect because during a, 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 a changing of water, the water that don't usually go out completely and I wasn't happy about that. So I have to uh, do some modification job some few days back and today the pond, the cement everywhere is dry now as you can see. So I want to treat this pond again. After my first construction, I treated this pond. But because of the modification job that I did here using a cement and every other stuff, I have to treat this pond again so that whenever I transfer those uh, uh, fishes, those fish you see seeing there, they won't die inside. So let's move straight to, or let me show you exactly what I'm going to use to treat this pond. So in case for those of you that have, do have challenges uh, treating your pond, um, I believe immediately after this video, you are going to know exactly what to use in neutralizing the cement in your concrete pond. So let's go straight to, let's see the materials I'm going to use here. Yeah, for those of you that have been, um, yeah, for those of you that have been asking some questions, you've dropped some questions on this channel. Uh, sorry that I've not answered your question. It has been uh, due to some circumstances beyond my control. I had challenges posting videos on my channel, even uh, on WhatsApp and replying uh, people on WhatsApp. So, so, so sorry if you know you've dropped any question and I've not given you answer. Please, I want to, I'm promising you that very soon I'm going to give reply to all your questions and it's going to be on a video form. So thank you. If So please just be don't be angry with me and uh, please if you're not yet hit the subscribe button on this channel of this channel please endeavor to click look below this video and hit the subscribe button so let's move straight to the materials let's see the materials i'm going to use to neutralize the cement in my in uh, uh, the, my pond that i, I just uh, renovated so this is uh, what i'm going to use um my plantain the previous video if you followed me earlier when i was treating the uh, treating the bigger pond that you just saw i also use this this is a plantain you can also use uh, your banana leaf but i'm going to use my plantain leaf so this is and uh, you can see there's the one that is somehow fresh and there's some other one that is dry but it's always very very advisable to use this for quicker results instead of this this will still give you a result but it will give you a long time the result will take time but this one this dry leaf will give you a quick result so i'm going to make use of all these uh, 
leaves that you are seeing here, the dry ones, okay, as you can see, I'm going to make use of these, and also the, the stalk, So this is a leaf, these are the, the one I've gathered and I'm going to transfer them into the pond. So transferring them into the pond, you know, yes, uh, it's not just going to be dry as this. I'm not going to keep them like this, but I'm going to pump in water into the pond. To capacity is going to full to capacity and uh, if you're going if you if you have subscribed to this channel whenever I'll be posting the next video two three days or the, the following day or by tomorrow you're going to see the, how the color of water is going to look like so for now I'm transferring the plantain leaf the dry plantain leaf the dry plantain stalk into the pond so it has been completely transferred into the pond and uh, I'm going to pump water into the pond and the water is going to enter into the pond through this pipe. Um, yes, as I said, his a modification work uh, that I did here, I think I, I, I destroyed the, the pipe, the system that do pumping water and I'm going to do the connection immediately before pumping in water into this pond. So now I'm pumping in water into the pond and uh, as you can see the treatment process has just begun and uh, watch my next video to see how the color of water or what the color of water is going to look like. Please if you've not yet hit the subscribe button you just need to do that. I have over 90 videos on this channel. There are videos on how to produce your, look, uh, your fish food. There are videos on how and where to get your pellet uh, meal machine. There are videos on how to treat your fish. There are videos on so many things on this channel. You just need to click on the subscribe button, like and share the videos that you know is helpful, that you know it will benefit others. And uh, this is Fish Academy. And I thank you for checking on my channel. This is, I said earlier, Fish Academy. And uh, stay with me as I bring you updates from my farm. Stay with me as I bring you updates about the fish you saw some few minutes back. Just do well to like this video. Thank you, my subscriber. Thank you for you that have just subscribed to this channel. As I said earlier, I'm going to answer each and all of your questions that I've seen on this channel, on my comment box, very, very soon. Don't be angry that your questions are not yet answered. I'm going to answer all soon, and I'm going to get back to you all. Thank you, my friends from Italy. Thank you, my friends from Thailand. Thank you, my friends from um, uh, Jamaica, uh, Jamaica. Thank you, my friends from India, from Nigeria, from United Kingdom, from US. I thank you all so much, Germany so much so many countries that do uh, view so many of you from other countries that do view my channel if you have not mentioned your country please forgive me and uh, please at any time you drop any comment on this my video on my video on my channel endeavor to uh, to drop where you are chat or where you are where you are where you are what where you do view my videos from so that when i'm uh, when i'm answering your questions i will be able to recognize you very well please what i'm trying to say once you drop your comment, once you drop any question, endeavor to state your country. Just drop, I am drop viewing your videos from so-so country, either from India, either from Jamaica, either from US, from UK, from Germany, from Japan, from China. Just do well to tell me. Let me know where you are viewing 
this channel from thank you very much water i've just splashed on my camera thank you